asset to McConnell Dow and also a testament to their devotion to the project, which has been fantastic for us. The final part of the work here at Marangi Bay was actually carried out on shore, where we installed a 32 metre shaft, uh, two metre diameter, and it was just behind the fence up there now. The problems we had here were of a different nature. We had a much closer interface with the public. Uh, we were carrying out on a beach reserve. And again, we managed to execute the works without any safety or environmental damage. And again, thank you to the public for all their help and consideration in uh, helping us do our work. And again, we had a good working relationship with, with all the locals. The shaft itself, um, although a significant piece of works, it's merely there for access. So the um, North Shore City Council can access the tunnel at a later date without having to go all the way up to the main shaft. So it allows them to get closer to, to the diffuser sections without having to go all the way back up to, to the main shaft and come right down the tunnel, three kilometers. This is the first ocean outfall I've worked on. It's been very challenging, it's been very exciting. I'm a better engineer for it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Loved every minute of it, it's been fantastic. Thanks. Yeah, no, this has been a really excellent job to work on. Lots of experts on the marine side, down in Kaiawa we're welding the pipes. We went up to uh, Morangi Bay up here on the barge, laying the pipes. So it's been an excellent job, really. Yeah, well, I've been working for McConnelldale for 10 years now. And uh, what I really love about the job is, is the, uh, the variety. And this, this project's been right up there with the, with the best of them, really. Started off with uh, digging the shaft here and, and the fore shunt, back shunt, out to Kaiawa to launch pipelines for the marine part. And driving the crane on the barge for laying the pipelines. Yeah, so here we are driving this thing loading segments trying to keep up with their tunneling machine and the jobs it's just really great loving it uh, we've got the job running 24 hours a day we do a, a five days one week six days the next the five day week allows us to catch up with a bit of maintenance um, we've got about 17 men on each shift they do uh, eight hours they do an eight hour shift when each train arrives at the bottom, generally the crane is uh, in place ready to start emptying the empty muck skips. There's, and there's generally three in, in, in the rate that needs emptying. And uh, the cycle starts with removing the full muck skips which in turn are dumped in the muck bay up here and carted away to cell one and cell two, the tip areas. Then the uh, skips are all lowered lowered back in and then the uh, segments are loaded uh, uh, along with the grout and with any other consumables that are needed inside which uh, will represent one complete metre of tunnel to be uh, mined. It's not an easy environment to work in down there. We've got the gradient to deal with. We've got the rolling stock to deal with, which is always a, always a problem uh, on a downhill gradient. We've got um, the tightness in there, which is, uh, this tunnel is considerably smaller than Hobson Bay was, which a lot of these men worked in. So they had to adapt to the different size.
and we've had no LTIs, which is lost time injuries, at, to date. And uh, I'm very pleased with, uh, with that and with the progress. And now, some six months later, we've started on the final stage of the project, installing the cascade. And that was it, last Cascade unit installed. All that remains for us to do on site now is to demobilise, commission the tunnel and complete the landscaping works. Job done. Yeah, pretty much I've been with McConnell House since I left college. So around 1998, then gradually worked my way up to the stages what I am now. Pretty much operator, qualified operator and pretty much loving, loving what I do now. It's, it's a dream, you know. It's something that people look forward to and uh, you can't beat it. I've been uh, working at the Rosedale site now for just over a year. Uh, it's a great place, the guys take safety seriously, uh, got a really good record here, the culture's great, um, I'm enjoying it, they're enjoying it, everyone's safe, um, yeah it's great. Hey, I'm a graduate straight from uni, uh, Rosedale's the first project I've been on, I couldn't be happier really, uh, from the marine side to the tunnel side it's been quite an experience, constantly learning and I couldn't ask for anything better really. The Rosedale uh, Tunnel Lap 4 project is um, one of the, uh, the biggest project that Council's ever undertaken and replacing an ageing existing system that was at the end of its life and needed to be replaced to protect the uh, North Shore City's beautiful beaches. It's a really important project for Council, it's critical that we get it right. We're pleased with the progress that's being made uh, so far and we're very confident that the project's going to deliver the outcomes that we want. I hope this has given you an idea of the scale and complexity of this project, the benefits that will be provided to the marine environment of Auckland, and also the range of skills and expertise we have available here at McConnelldale. Dale.